Hello everybody, this is Dan Bates here coming to you from our music studio downstairs of our home. Uh, today we're going to do a video on easy white balance. Now it's like anything when you're dealing with the software inside the camera, the camera only gets it right about half the time. So whether it be autofocus, you know, focusing on the leaf instead of the bird behind the leaf, um, auto ISO, not really quite hitting the, the mark. White balance is another one of those subjects where you put it in auto, it'll get close. Um, sometimes real close, sometimes way off. Uh, so it's a real simple, easy trick to get perfect white balance every time. And the beauty of it is we're going to go into uh, the manual settings uh, for white balance. We're going to set it once per, say, scene, uh, and then we're going to assign that to almost like a preset. So if you're doing a model shoot or, or something on location, you're going to be doing three or four different sequences with different lighting setups or different locations. Uh, you set up once for that particular light setup, that particular location, and you're good. You leave it to that setting and you're good for every shot. Uh, in, in experimenting with this, I found this to work 100% of the time to get spot on white balance. So let me show you. Okay, so you need one basic piece of equipment to do this, and that is the solid gray dome from a uh, speed light diffuser. Uh, you can buy these individually. A lot of times they'll come in a kit if you buy a whole kit uh, with, with the speed light diffuser with the different colored dome caps to them. Uh, I believe there's tons of just generic ones you can get on Amazon and eBay. This particular one is a Gary Fong um, that goes to his light kit. Um, so it, it's just, it's a inverted solid gray dome. Uh, because it's not translucent or anything, we actually get a little bit of a, a light profile on it. And unlike a gray card or a white card that's flat and the camera can only interpret the light coming from a specific angle, when you have a dome like this, you're getting light from all different angles. So I have a light source kind of coming from my right and from up front, uh, from above. So I have highlights here and here. I have a natural window there, so I may have some here, but under here is probably a little shadowy. So you get a real good balance of light hitting it because it's a dome. So let me show you how to get this set up and how to properly use it. Now, um, it's a snowy, wet, rainy day here in the Northeast. And um, Eileen, my partner in crime, is actually at um, her weekend job. And our usual assistant, our daughter Alyssa, is still not feeling well. She's in bed. So uh, <laughs> bear with me. We're going to get through this. Uh, very simple, really cool. And uh, we're using today the, the A6500. But this will work really on any camera. Uh, this video is part of our A6500 video series. Uh, because you know we're, we're basing all this stuff on the settings within the a6500 but this will work with any camera out there it's really just that simple okay so let's get started okay so the first thing I want to show you so we're on a 6500 hit function and we are in auto white balance okay so if I take this picture Now, I'm down here, I'm under fluorescent lighting. This is our music school waiting room. So I'm going to go back into function. And I'm going to switch this to fluorescent cool white, which is the appropriate setting for where we're at. Okay, and I'm going to take that picture. Now, I'm going to go back into function and I'm going to go down to the very bottom uh, custom setup and what's it going to do if I can put this on the wall I don't know how, if you, how well you can see that so I get for working by myself uh, there is a little faint circle there you should be able to see it relatively there that circle you want to put on what you're using to base the white balance on. So this is where this cup comes into play. 
So I'm going to place this cup where it is I'm trying to balance my white. And then I want to put that circle right on that cup. And we're going to hit the center, center button on back once that circle's over that cup. And that just took the white balance reading. Now what it's showing me is, is that where we are now, that our suggested weight balance for this situation is 2900 Kelvin. And it's asking me if I want to apply this to, uh, to register it with uh, weight balance preset 1. So I want to hit uh, the center button again to say yes. Now I'm going to take that picture. So you can clearly see the difference with the white balances as we cycle through these photos. All right, so here we see our auto example. It did a pretty good job, but the wall of the furniture is definitely a little golder than it is in real life. Fluorescent, which should have nailed it because we were fluorescent, did a horrible job. Now our custom, you see the wall is shining its true color. The furniture looks lifelike. Everything here is how it should be. And revisiting the auto, you see where it gets a little gold. So here we are. I have now I have this pink lampshade here. We're in auto white balance. Half press, let it set, full press. Now I want to go back from auto, it's actually one click up. Okay, we hit function, click on auto, we go up one, and then there's your custom setup. Again, we're going to initialize that. We have that little white circle. Okay, so. This is where I want to put that white circle on the center of the gray cup and hit the center button. It's telling me for this situation we need 2500 Kelvin. So I want to hit the center button to register that in one. And then now I want to take that picture again. So got, once again, we see here the auto white balance seemingly got it right. You look at the lampshade, it's pink, but here when you see the custom white balance, the wall is true to the real life colors, the lamp is true to real life colors. Okay, so this is just a simple example of how with, with any camera, of course we're using the A6500 in this example. Um, and for those of you interested, uh, this is a Sony Zeiss uh, 51.4 ZA. So, with a simple piece of basically plastic, uh, it doesn't matter what brand you, you can find. If you can find a, a neutral medium gray dome lid for a speed light uh, flash diffuser. Uh, I know they're available individually or in kits. This actually came with a white uh, semi-opaque one, uh, which is a different technique. It's a lot more complicated. This is the simplest, straight to the point, dead on every time white balance now if i was shooting a model for instance when i was doing the lamp or order point setter once i put this in position once and i shoot it and my white balance is set to registries one two three four wherever i want to put it i can actually go around and shoot a different positions in the studio here um, and and register them to settings one setting two setting three and then when i'm shooting i just simply switch to the next setting for the next location it's it's like the Ron Popeil rotisserie. You set it and forget it. So uh, again, eBay, Amazon, uh, most places you can find these as an individual component. You don't have to buy the whole kit. Uh, I will post some links below in the description of um, this particular one. I got it on Amazon, and I'll look around for maybe a couple on eBay, and I'll actually post some links below. It is a priceless tool. If if you, you're a particular camera or you shoot in a lot of areas where white balance isn't being set right by your camera, this is a wonderful tool and it is super easy. I hope this video has helped. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Any questions, comments, things you would like uh, to see us do videos on or questions you have, you can post in the comments below. Uh, reach out to me via um, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash batesphoto.net. 
uh, email me or my wife, uh, Daniel Bates, or Daniel at BatesPhoto.net, or Eileen, E-I-L-E-E-N, at BatesPhoto.net. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, you know, we're starting this video series because we want to get stuff out there that, that we don't see out there. I mean, I'm sure there's one or two other videos doing this, uh, but, you know, we're trying to, to really get a lot of, of good quality educational content out there uh, for new photographers or photographers who just never really dealt with some of these things. Um, next video coming up, we're going to be doing a full hands-on review, no sugar coating, of the A6500 on location. Um, me and my wife will be out shooting some things in the next week or two, and we'll be putting that video together. So keep an eye out for that. Again, please like, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you'd be willing to do so, and uh, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com, batesphoto.net, and uh, like us there. Uh, we have lots of great content coming. So keep checking back, and I uh, appreciate the time that you spent watching this video today. Have a great one.